recognizing a significant contribution by not only um, some, some members of our church who have been behind this project for many, many months, but a significant contribution by the Ontario government and more specifically <coughs> the Trillium Foundation, uh, an agency of the, the uh, provincial government that distributes money to worthy causes and they have deemed this community center that you're standing in right now, um, they've deemed this to be a worthy cause. So they, as the press release noted, um, they've contributed about $40,000 to the, to the upgrading of this facility so that it can fit into some of the elements of our five-year long-term business plan, which was recently approved. And a major part of that plan is to improve our service to our community. Um, we want to be not only a, a welcoming church as far as this community center is concerned and as far as the sanctuary up there is concerned, but we believe it's important that we reach out into the community. We reach out to those who, who, uh, who need the services of the church. Uh, we recently established a food bank, which is just around the corner, and that's been, been very successful and very well received in our community. We, we recognize that we need to do more as far as the, the youth of the community is concerned. So we're working on programs for the youth. We're also uh, working on programs uh, for uh, single parents, single mothers. And th those are the kinds of things that are in our business plan, which we hope will not only improve our service to the church, but of course, <clears throat> the long-term objective is to increase, increase our membership because that will ensure that the church remains a viable church. We're almost 100. Communities like Warkworth is what make us very different than the rest of the world, frankly. It's because it's the volunteers at the grassroots that we bring church. Uh, uh, church and school, I always say, you know, uh, even outside the, the, the area that I uh, represent. When I go in a small community, I look for a, ch a church steeple and a school, because then I know I'm in a community. So this plays a huge, huge role, and the commitment that you've made from that part of it, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. We need to thank you for that. The other piece, you've, uh, you know, you've opened up, or you, through, with your group uh, and the minister, have uh, opened up the church to the community. And in communities like, uh, Warkworth, um, you don't have a, a huge recreation <coughs> complex. Uh, you don't have those kind of things. So all these things put together make Warkworth what it is unique. So to that part of it, thank you. Secondly, I just want to say congratulations on your award of this uh, grant, uh, just under forty thousand dollars. I believe you do much needed work that it's not just superficial. It's also helped uh, to keep this place going maybe a little bit cheaper as uh, you know energy costs those things go up with the renovations you did and also with the renovations you did in the kitchen to serve the Warkworth area. The Trillium Foundation started in 1982. I think they had about eight million and this past uh, fiscal year They've given out uh, about 1,500 grants across Ontario uh, to the tune of 120 million. And you, by getting this grant, have fulfilled part of their mission. And uh, even though I've read this many times and I know it by heart, I always like to read it because I think people took the time when they organized this, and I love the wording of it. And their mission is, and note how you relate to their mission, building communities throughout Ontario by strengthening the capacity of the voluntary sector through investments in community-based initiatives, which is exactly what you do. Then they have a vision, and I like the way they word it there. They say, Ontario Trillium Foundation is a catalyst that enables Ontarians to enhance the quality of life in communities. 
and grants stimulate communities. Yours as well. And I've always said, volunteers get things done. They, if they start out with the, the right attitude, and let's face it, they have it, they know the, they have a common sense of values, they, ha they are creative, they have talent, and they have that energy and drive to get things done, and they know what the community needs. So this is a perfect example. Well, this is a plaque that's given by the Ontario Trilling Foundation. It's proud to support the building of healthy and vibrant communities across the province. 2010. Oops, sorry. These people, I've only been with them for two, two and a half years, but these people have a great many gifts, as everybody has a great many gifts. But the blessing here is that these gifts are shared very easily, and they have the energy to recognize that God's love has to be in action. And that's what happens here, because this isn't just about having a space where people can come to have meetings. This is, yes, reaching out to the community and reaching out with a hug, truly, because we believe that everything we do has to be done through and for the love of God. And if making things more efficient and using the environment more efficient, that is taking care of creation. And making this space open to the community, that is taking care of people. So they've done it uh, financially wisely, but they've done it with spirit. I'd like to thank them.